My name is Alyssa Parker. I am a Conservation and Land Management Officer. I've been employed in local and state government. Uh, specifically with fire management was with the Department of Natural Resources and Forest Products. As a forest officer, uh, one of my roles was to perform uh, fire reduction uh, management uh, to harvest areas, but we we're also involved in other fires that had been unprecedented and was a multi-organisational uh, management. Toowoomba Escarpment does have a risk of bushfire. Due to increase in temperature, prolonged drought, there is an increase in fuel load. Uh, because the urban area is encroaching on uh, a forest area or a conservation area, uh, the risk to human life and property is increasing as, as time goes on. Uh, climate change is increasing the risk of fuel loads. As we know, uh, temperature increase, uh, decrease in rainfall means higher fuel loads in these areas. In regards to carbon sequestration abilities, when there's an increase in fuel load, it means that more uh, carbon is going into the atmosphere if there are high intensity burns, whereas if we manage these correctly, we can keep these burns at a low intensity level, resulting in less carbon being emitted and also carbon being stored in those particular vegetation areas. Urban areas are in a sense not as aware of the bushfire risk from the escarpment. More multi-organisation plans and action plans need to be put in place for these residents to understand what level of risk is posed to them. In the urban areas basic uh, fire prepared kit is required. Uh, but also basic household tasks like keeping your gutters clean, irrigation systems uh, and making sure that no combustible uh, items are, are around the housing. So larger blocks on the escarpment have a higher risk of fire um, or needing to be uh, managing fire. Properties should have uh, bushfire management action plans. Every 12 months these should be updated, fuel loads should be calculated. In regards to building design, we need to better design our properties to um, resist fire, use non-combustible materials and make that part of our, our building codes as we do. Operation Cool Burn is one of our success stories for this area. It, it is very proactive in reducing the fuel load through cool burning. Other methods are available and should be used to create a mosaic approach to land management. Things such as livestock, grazing, horses, cattle, but specifically goats are particularly good in reducing fuel load. And also making sure that our maintenance of fire breaks is is in upkeep every, every season. In North Queensland, I was very lucky to be able to work with Indigenous land managers. They assisted us in understanding cultural awareness um, and significant areas of, of burn. They also um, had the local knowledge of how the ecosystems react to those burns and, and why it can be so beneficial. Indigenous rangers have a major role to play in the Toowoomba escarpment. They, they are the traditional land holders and they are able to help us heal our land and keep our risk level low.